just to continue, we're still in Daniel chapter three and we've been picking on the topic, fate of presumption. And we're pretty much we're looking at the fate of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. We've seen it in chapter one, we've seen it in chapter two. Now we'll go to chapter three and we'll see it in verse 16 to 18. The key thing is that they were threatened as to where they stand. Are you going to stand for your God or are you going to compromise, you know, so that you can still keep your position? That was what was in front of them, right? They passed the first test in chapter one. They passed the second test in chapter two. Now here's chapter three. You know, what will they do? You know, it's very critical the way they answered Nebuchadnezzar. There's a lot we can pick from it. And that's the reason why I use the topic fate or presumption. Because a lot of us carry presumption and we get disappointed and we think maybe our prayer was not answered, but we never had faith, right? Faith always rests on in God, right? First of all, prayer is not a place where we come and command God. Well, in a sense, we command God, but when, we, when he says we should command him, he's commanding him according to his promises, according to his word, not just what we want. Yes, God says, command me concerning my, my promises. Yes, so there is a place we can command God. In a, way, in a way, maybe that's not the right word, but it's in a place where we zakah, we remind him of what he has said, because he himself has chosen to bind himself, to bound himself by his word, right? He says not one jot of his word will pass without coming to pass. So we can remind him of the word, recall the word, yeah, bring the word to fore, replay the word before him and say, God, you have said this, you are bound by this. Yes, we can command God according to his word, his promises, but that is the, that's the only thing we can do. We cannot just command him just because of what we want, dictate him the way he's going to do things. If we, if we do that, we're, we're, we're looking for failure, right? Because God is only bound by his word. Is bound by his word, is bound by his purposes, right? Is bound by his counsel, right? He is bound by that which he has already predetermined will be the end of all things. So if we're just coming and asking him things that don't fall in line with his counsel, his purpose, we know I'll be with you like I was with Moses, right? I have a permit to be with you as I was with Moses. Don't let the word, the, the book of the law, depart from your from, from you. Because I'm only going to be limited by that. I am not going to do things that will be against the word, right? I'm not going to be it's something that is in counter to the word. I'm bound by my word. I'm bound by my promises, right? I'm not bound by just what we think, right? It didn't say that, oh, I will answer you according to your crying, according to your tears, right? And some people try to witchcraft God, like the witchcraft man, you know, will say all the different things to God. You know, but God is bound by his word, not by my tears, right? Yes, I can talk about like Ezekiel, Ezekiel would pray to God and say, oh, God, remember this, the dead will not praise you, all of that, all of that. Yes, we're pleading according to his message, according to his word. Ezekiel's prayer was not a given. God might, could have chosen not to answer Ezekiel's, Ezekiel's prayer. Right, but that's what we we'll talk about when we talk about um, making supplication. Right, supplication is giving God good reason. Right, but if those reasons are not really something that He has bound Himself with in His Word, it's not a giving as to the way He will answer it. Right, what we can hold God bound to, and He can command it, is His Word. Right, and I said all of that just to relate with the way uh, Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego answered Nebuchadnezzar. Right, they answered him and said, God, that our God would deliver us. Right, our God would deliver us. But God has not necessarily said that for every uh, challenge we have, He would just come and miraculously deliver us. He would deliver us, like Job would say, I'll wait on my Redeemer. Right, I'll wait on Him. Right, I don't know when He said He will come, up, but I know He will come. If it be in this life or in the life to come, but I'll wait on my redeemer till my change comes, right? We, we need to be careful that we don't bind God by things that he doesn't bind himself by, right? So that we don't get honestly disappointed, right? We, we 
Obviously, we can pray and ask all the things we want. You know, there's nothing wrong in doing that. But when I'm holding it down to, 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 to something, it has to be what his word says, right? And, and you know, Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego could have just stopped at our God to deliver us. But they knew better. They knew what faith was. Faith is resting in God, right? Trusting in his person not dictating to God what God will do. So they said, even if our God does not, if he chooses not to, because he could choose not to, that will still serve him. Our, our service is not based on that. It, it, we know for sure this will happen. Our service is to our God. Our faith is in our God, right? Let me just read a bit of some quotes I, I put together for something else. That's what I went to just drag. You know, this is Pastor Rennie Brown. He wrote some things on faith. And he says that you cannot have a legitimate faith and not have hope, obviously. That's one I was looking for. Faith is the confidence that what God has said is true. And God, and God no, <laughs> faith is the confidence that what God has said is true. That is the confidence that what God has said is true and God will perform it. Faith enables the believing soul to treat the future as present and in invisible as seen, right? So my time is over. I'm going, to, I'm going to stop. But I'm just here just trying to separate between faith and presumption. And I have more to say on it, but I'm going to leave that till tomorrow. God helping us. Let me stop here.